Bucks GM John Horst introduced Doc Rivers. As Milwaukee Bucks' new head coach, Doc Rivers was lured back to coaching. By the chance to compete for an NBA title with the Bucks, Doc Rivers and the Milwaukee Bucks each have endured plenty of recent playoff disappointment. Now they're joining forces as the Bucks attempt to meet sky high expectations. By winning their second title in four years, Rivers will make his debut on Monday. When Milwaukee opens a five game road trip against the reigning champion Denver Nuggets, coaching in Milwaukee represents a homecoming of sorts for Rivers. A former Marquette guard who says he got much of his basketball knowledge. From former Golden Eagle coaches Al McGuire, Hank Raymonds, and Rick Majerus, Rivers said coming back here to a place that changed me as a literal person is a dream. Rivers replaces Adrian Griffin, who was fired just 43 games into his tenure. The Bucks were 30 to 13 at the time, a testament to the franchise's sense of urgency. While it has to time MVP Yanis Antetokounmpo and seven-time All-NBA guard Damian Lillard on its roster, after the Philadelphia 76ers fired him last year, following a third straight second-round playoff exit, Rivers began this season working as an ESPN analyst. This opportunity brought him back for a 25th season as an NBA head coach. Rivers said I wasn't going to just take a job. I've been contacted several times this season, and I wouldn't even take the call. I was dead serious. If the right opportunity opened, I would listen. If not, I was fine. Rivers said it's just really cool being in an arena. Coaching in an arena and your jerseys hanging above you. Who was at Marquette from 1980 to 83 before playing 13 seasons in the NBA. I can turn to the players and say, Guys, I swear to God. I played basketball. Just look up. I swear that's me. He also said that his staff will include former Memphis Grizzlies and Sacramento Kings head coach Dave Yerger as well as Rex Kalamian, who worked alongside him with the Los Angeles Clippers. The immediate task for Rivers is upgrading a defense. That has taken a major step backward without Drew Holiday who was included in the off-season trade that brought Lillard to Milwaukee. Our language and communication defensively, we have to get that right, Rivers said. Right now, you can feel it. Some this way, some this way. We've got to get on the same page. We've got to do things differently, too, than the past. Drew and Dame are different players. We have to change some things, for sure. General Manager John Horse said, we talked a few days ago about identifying a coach who could lead and maximize this team's talent in a window where we have a real chance to compete. And we found Doc. We talked to Doc. We went at him with urgency. Rivers won a title with the Celtics in 2008 and lost Game 7 of the NBA Finals to the Los Angeles Lakers two years later. But he never got beyond the second round of the playoffs. With the Clippers and 76ers, He's encountered plenty of criticism for blown series leads over the course of his career, Pat Connaughton said. The interesting thing to me is I know a bunch of talking heads. We'll talk about some of the negative things because that's what social media is. But you talk about the success that he's had and the ability he's had to get teams into positions to win, whether they've closed or not. I look at our team and I look at the situation he's coming into we get to those situations. I think we've got a good chance to close. Milwaukee's had its own postseason issues. The Bucks won their first title in half a century in 2021, but haven't advanced beyond the second round since. They posted the NBA's top regular season record in 2019, 2020 and 2023, but failed to make it beyond the conference finals in any of those years. Mike Buttonholzer, who coached the Bucks to the 2021 title, was fired last year after the top-seeded Bucks shocking 4-1 first-round playoff loss to the Miami Heat. It's going to be fun just to get coached by someone who has something to prove as well, Bucks forward Bobby Portis said Friday. Being on a team with other guys who, obviously, we all have something to prove, not saying we failed over the last couple of years. But we didn't achieve what was sought out to be the goal. 
Rivers believes he can help the Bucks achieve that goal. Rivers adds, winning it all. It's like having a blood transfusion with everybody in the organization. And once you get that in you, you want another one, and that's my pursuit. I don't know if there's anything to prove there. It's just something that I want to do. Listen. Yanis, that's what he wants to do. Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez. Just because they've won one doesn't mean. They don't want to win another, and Dame wants to win one. And yeah, I've got a hungry group.